Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Battlefield Gothic Armada 2 Rise of the Necrons When we last left off, we told Abaddon to the spoiler. We took him out, well great, and then found out Case is going to try and take Cadia. This is bad. I'm currently ordering my fleet to about face and head back to Cadia. Not all of them. I don't need all of everyone there. Just enough to push things down. So see, you know, one zero zero. So. Huh. And these guys should be all slowly building up, so it should be squashing it. Yeah. There'll always be one that will take a pass level two. Buried ship world. Demon world, slave market. I made my things better. Now the only war holes, not gonna happen. Appeals will happen, Age of Chaos. Yeah, they're getting close to zero. Right, in turn. We are booking it back to Cadia. Nothing pretty much happens in the other systems. Unless it's a scripted event, nothing happens. Because I can stop any invasion. Make a deploy. Five invasions right now. And I can just go. Nope, 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 nope. To all five of them, and it might use up some of the thirty plus, nearly four. Yep. Sotarius is being invaded. Yep. Yeah, that will happen. If it's scripted, I can't stop it. If it isn't scripted, it can be stopped. Am I bothered? Not so much. No. 2,400... Yeah, that's not going to be an issue. Free k You will defend them while we head to Scar. To Cadia. Why you can just like click and say go here? I have to constantly go back and forth between the two systems. You know, I'd like a. I just I would like a, like a mass move button. Just to you know select everybody and go, say, move to here. Well, that's you know, what we got. What we got. Wait, do we need the other ship guy from this fleet? Cadia's guy may actually have some people on it. I mean, I did send some guys through through earlier. You know, Auger pros, slow down field. But all of them are, most of them are Grand Cruisers. Yeah, he has got the full thing. But I think that combination we had with the uh, two the free scab ships. The only Volvo here there it is. Okay. I think the combo we had with this guy. Three battleships with two with three scarabs and two orbs lightning orbs. I think personally it works pretty darn well. See they're gonna be a turn out from getting to Cadia. So they're gonna do let's see one turn to here, another turn so they're two turns away. Will the invasion of chaos actually happen? Hmm, who knows? But I've sort of bul bulwarked the area they're trying to invade, so it makes a little difference to me. Like, ha ha, 
Oh, there's a fleet of 3,000 here. Huh. That's, um, that's uh, problematic. Uh, not like a look at that one. Not like a look at that. 3k fleet. Hmm, that, that's not good. Not good at all. I think they'll launch a f attack on Cadia if... Hey! That's coming. I depending on the side of your fleet, I might or might not let you through. Let's see. You got no invasion, you got no invasions, you got You're way up here. Let's see, how big are you coming? That's tiny. Yo. One of the five fleets in here, who's who's spare? I'm sending you to... I'll send you there because, um... It's got about four turns to get there. I mean, he's not going to be here for... four turns. I can make him last for as long as I want. I could keep them in limbo. Which would be absolutely hilarious when you start thinking about it. Uh, are we getting any closer? I don't know! The player's got us in limbo! Oh, that's just rude. That is cruel. Yes. See, it's gonna be like a button that if you click on a system and it's got fleets, you can just say, send all. And you can move a whole fleet to a location. Next turn, I'll move the, that fleet out. That, those three out. And prep for the big, I think, the grand finale. We get Force of Chaos. Imperials aren't going to be around. I'm joining in. Tyranid of... given up. I think I've just given up. I haven't seen the t a single Tyranid fleet. I haven't seen a single Imperial Tyranid fleet in God knows how many turns. I think it's something like since turn 68? Or something like that? I know they've been, it's been a while since I've seen them. Hey. Beep. Boop. Boop. This is cruelty. They're gonna get there and go, hey! I popped a 900 there when there's already a good couple hundred there to begin with. Uh, not that it particularly matters, because I don't think they're actually going to get to have the turn. Now that's going to be right, it is probably not even going get, to get to happen, because I think when this fight's finished, when this fight's done, Champion of, Mer of Nurgle, Moltres. I think when this fight's finished, it will be over. I think this is, in fact, the last fight. Star Makers. If you don't think that should be, say, reabsorb. But yeah, this, I think, will be the final fight. I don't think there's going to be a... one after this. Because... there's nothing left. Unless it says you can't finish the campaign unless you, until you beat the tyranny up. 
When she gets the terror, she'll sit there and go, Oh God, please don't come towards us. Don't come anywhere near us. If you do a good job on this game, and command your fleet well, or just have it on a low difficulty setting like I have. At last, Zar, are you prepared? All is in readiness, Great One. Wait, we are not alone. Be rejoicing, for I bring me greetings from Grandfather Nurgle. Fret not about thy lack of flesh, for I have agues to rust and rot all forms. A slow death to the interloper. His vessels bar our passage. I must reach the target coordinates, or this is all for nothing. Yep. Stay back, good servant. Your path shall be cleared of this detritus. Complete the Dark Throne translocation. Destroy or rout the Chaos Fleet. Next one, I'm on rapid fire for. We're not hiding. We're not thinking. We are here to blow them the blow them the kingdom come. Wow. He's over here. We don't fly very quickly. But like I said, we're not here to Well, no point doing that right now, because and them over there because they've got guys coming after us. Almost like two waves of fighters. I don't think those translocations, these transdimensional lightning orbs, will get there. Or well, transdimensional thunderbolt, I should say. Alright, lead ship. Prepare, prepare star wave pulse. This is fantastic because it destroys enemy fighter ships, no matter how good they are. Well, they know there is a battleship. The thing is, we're heading straight towards them, so. I'm going to pull them. See if we can pull them up this way. You might be the flagship. I see the flagship. If we've got anything nearby that's trying to slip in, it's. Well, that's fortuitous because it looks like it's going straight into it. One misses. This one, not so much. Ooh, he's got long range. That might be the. Um, one, two. They might have multiple flagships. Entirely one dude because they can see him. Seriously, what did we hit this time? Oh, too slow on that one. Yo. Munchkins. Well, they know what we are. Let's say hi. New scav swarm going. And switch to reactive holes. No, no one's aggressive here. Damn it. 
One well ship toast. Do sure. Do lots of things, baby. Wait no longer. I appeared into the abyss of fate and seen this moment before. Something comes. Something terrible. Very well. Go. I shall protect you. Boarding successful. Frayed ones are feasting. Where are you? Oh, good job. my control. Fire on board. What is your command? Motive units fully engaged. We are making so I don't like how they're doing that. Enemy vessels suffered critical damage. But um I'd like Zara to teleport faster, please. Move faster. Uh, eight more seconds till we get the first one. Five, thirty, five. The two of these guys can jump. Big guy gets it. Yep, stay me go medium. Boarding successful. Frayed ones are feasting. Reassembling coherence. Internal damage uh, register. For a heal on you. Boarding successful. Oh. If I have to be able to meet a meat shield to protect them. It's difficult, but if you position your ships just correctly, you can form like a shield for them.
truly know the origin of your bastion? Its full capabilities. It is Abaddon's gift to a valued ally. And it possesses all the firepower I need to avenge his death. I need know nothing more. Like all humankind, you see a pool and think it the ocean. This system, this quadrant of the galaxy is now mine. I offer you one chance to depart. You are not the first to underestimate me, machine. It is a mistake no one long survives. I know this weapon great one. It possesses the power to destroy even the Dark Throne. If left unchecked, then we shall take it from this horrible black heart. In the same moment we relieve him of his petty life. I beg you not to take this battle lightly. He is more dangerous than he appears. I take no battle lightly, so. Do, 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 do. Okay, we want to get this thing's lightning shield down, and shield down so we can just start boarding it. Oh, we'll probably get. Then assault action the ever living bejesus out of him. And I actually intend to do just that. Take that. And we are staying close. Target coordinate range close. We want this. Close as possible so we can just keep on hitting it with. Assault action after assault action after assault action. And I intend to do just that and use every last one I've got. I don't care if I use multiple. Don't run into the ship. I class the wise, don't be so stupid. Alright, and when assault action's up. Have another 12 of them. You ain't going to be loading anything. Hey. It must have literally got it between the f between the, the waves. If I kill this thing off, then we are in business. Ladies and gents, we are good. We have told them. That's why it turns out I haven't been recording anything whatsoever. I have to do it all over again. I don't even care if I lose how much damage I'm taking. We are going to continuously hit this guy with boring actions until there is nothing left of him. But Going down, going down. Go, 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 go. Kaboom! It is done. Black Heart's fleet is no more. Its fortress is reduced to rubble. The Dark Throne will repair the rift, and you, Great One, shall rule. Should be bizarre. The Neferu shall rule supreme. Boom! Okay, so our final fight wasn't against Abaddon, but it was against the Darkstone you Fortress. Yourself, 
quite the ruler, Abak. You understand what Abaddon and Kefrek did not. That madness and vainglory lose more crowns than they win. Have a care you don't forget this lesson. The Eldari are humbled. At least for now. For a dying race, they are rather resilient. If only they learn their place. We didn't get to it. Theron falls, another rises, as it should be. All that remains is to give the order and claim your destiny. Go on, Dark Throne. I think the Silent King will be happy with us. I would have liked to have had something like this in combat or a Titan class ship. So the only one I didn't actually see, the only guy I didn't see with a Titan class ship is you guys. Is the um, Necron. What we call the Eye of the Terran's called the Eye of Terror. Well, this is what the Dark Throne was dying for. It's like the pylons were supersized. And with that in the system, it will continuously now keep that shut. I mean, Chaos will try and open it again, constantly. But they'll, um, uh, Keep it shut. Of course, now they have to worry about chaos sending legions of legions after them to try and blow the thing up. So, in Spire, they took out the Abaddon, the spoiler, called it a day, and went, yay! But, to truly have called it a day and win is to do what the Necron did, and which is to shut the Eye of Terror. I wonder if you, if you, again, no, again, no, the Adari was a required fight. It wasn't a case of, oh, just, you know, beat these guys up here. It's like, it was a required fight to take them out. Now, if the Adari could get their numbers back... Now, see, if the Adari... If the Aldari could get their numbers back, if they could stop being a dying race and restore their numbers, El just breaking free of Slanesh would be a, probably a saving grace for them. Might just pull. But if they got their numbers back and they started, you know, building their civilization back up to its full power again, um. The rest of the galaxy better watch out. Because tech wise, they beat us quite significantly. We're just hardier and more numerous. But yeah, Tyranid, threat to everybody, they don't like anyone. The Necron think everyone are slaves and beneath them. Yeah, guess if they're unbroken. That's what you, oh, there's a guy in the voice. Uh, cool. Generic chaos. Abaddon the spoiler, that one. That guy was Abaddon the spoiler. Huh. I'd have to pause these to actually hear what they are. Anyway, that's going to be it, folks. And when we come back, uh, we will probably be to the next frame, next race. So until then, until then, I'll catch you all later. And may the darkness be forever at your back. See ya.